Hello fellow Buddhist Pratici, Pratici with <laughs> two T. I found an example of parallel thirds in a voluntary from John Stanley. Here is a little video. Okay, let's watch your video and let's see what is this. Hello fellow Musici Pratici. In this Musici Pratici. <laughs> the voluntary from Stanley. Okay. The organ. I just found an example of uh, the parallel thirds nice. one of the basic techniques uh, that we found in the Partimento method. Okay. Here we we get a D and a F that form a third, then three, 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 three. Exactly. Three, three, three more, three, three, three. It's a long uh, chain of thirds. Yes, that's true. With figuration patterns, uh, D, C sharp, D. And the very interesting thing is that the figuration is something called paleologia, so it's a reiteration of the same figurations. <laughs> in the dark style. Well, are you going to play? Okay. Yes. Exactly. And as you can see, the most interesting thing of this passage is the um, function of this bass line. Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re which is almost a trainer even if its function consists in preparing then the cadence yes i missed all the notes at the end congratulations let's play it again Cadence uh, or gallant, depends, depending if you imagine a voice in the middle. And the function of this seems more to be something like an indugio. The indugio is, is a pattern where, where you stay on the fourth degree, so G in this case, and you insist before making the cadence. Of course, we are in a period where the indugio were, were not so common, it's more. Uh, classical is more is later Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven. The indugio itself, as we can catalog it and you can learn in uh, stage six point something six point fourteen of the Partimento method. But let's go to the full version because it's in the premium full version for uh, all Mozart practice who are brave Mozart practice to study or and want to study all the things. So we are six point fourteen, right? No, fifteen. And we have the indugio, so let's go to the to see some examples also of the same play. So we are on degree four of F uh, of G of C major. But this can imply that you move also down. So you will have so because we are in C major. It's very, very similar to the, the function to emphasize the cadence. If we take the minor version, it's clearer, so let's take the minor version of this indugio with uh, this one. The indugio can finish with a converging cadence or with a compound cadence or gallant cadence so to the first to the first degree. This way, and you can imagine so. 
so D is to be the fourth, so we are in A minor. Sol, Fa, Mi, Sol, Fa, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Sol, Fa. The principle is very similar. to release in a cadence. Here we have a later version of this kind of rhetorical aspect, which is the indugio, in this case the 5-6 indugio. Study the indugio because there are a lot of combinations. I remember that this is a free stage, the indugio, with, you can put embellishments, or with some arpeggios, this depends on you, and then you have the cadence. Here we have the same thing. So let's go to the... Da, 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 where is that? Here, as you can see, we have a long fourth degree. Let's see. Another situation, another thing very similar which comes to my mind as a, an ancient version of the Indugio is what we have in Jan Sebastian Bach. So let's go to Jan Sebastian Bach folder and the well-tempered clavier. We are in book number one and we are in the D minor prelude. I already made a video on this, of this prelude. And in the, in the D minor prelude, we have a passage here, this cadence, which is very interesting because it's very similar. So we are, we are here. This is the end of the prelude. The ancient version, the earlier version, the first version of this prelude we have in uh, Wilhelm Friedman's book, if I remember correctly, finishes here. This is an addition Bach made later in this prelude. So the cadence, let's read the bass line of the last three lines. So we have from this point. <laughs> We are in G, we are in D minor, so G is the fourth degree. Fa sol la fa sol la fa fa sol la fa sol la yeah. with this harmony. So now let's play the harmony vertically. Fa sol la fa 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 sol la. We had to start one before because yes, we have four phases: one, two, three, and four. I didn't, I haven't played the first one. So, the first one and the second one are almost regular with the leading tone. The second one and the third one are different with the... Here we have the uh, unresolved, unresolved cadence. Fa. We don't have the septic cadence. Volevi. Then the resolution Fa. Another time you want it, but the last time we have it, and so let's play with uh, as written as it's written. So, this is to all the pianists playing this prelude has a um, high speed train. Stop it! Go the slow! You, how, can you, how can you listen to <laughs> these harmonies, these very beautiful passages if you play <laughs> as a, being on an electroshock <laughs> chair? Slow, I mean slowly, with, with uh, 
will flow. We, are, we, we have triplets. <laughs> We have a melody. A stepwise melody. Play the melody. Now, no, all the pianists today. Where is the music? Where is the music? And this piece makes sense to be played keeping down the highest note, which is the top voice, which is the melody, this way. Foot, of course, it is a piece you have to study. It's, um, I have been playing this from some months, but what's in common is that we have a melody in that case. Here, in this case. That's not the case that we, we are in the hexachord. And then the final cases. You can be able to see all these details, all these elements, only if you study vertically each pattern, only if your eyes become able to see this melody. Have you ever noticed that you have a melody here? Probably you have, or probably in other cases you won't have. So you didn't notice it. So, we have different, you, you can do different things, you can study your own, otherwise, join the Partimento method, you have all what you have to learn for a very basic music foundation, more than basic, I mean the basic or an advanced music foundation, in uh, harmony, in counterpoint, in the composition in Partimento, then you can analyze these compositions and then better play them and also compose them when you can see and you identify, identify each structure and each pattern with awareness and not as modern the modern approach Shankaran analysis uh, uh, S1 race car piano player and other situations uh, offer you today to analyze this music in um, from with eyes that are not the eyes of the spirit. So join the Partimento Method, start your free journey here. You can create your free account, just follow the Partimento Method you can find in the description and then if you like continue with the full with the full path. In addition on Patreon there are a lot of other resources every week, every day to learn to understand how to read this kind of music with the true and authentic eyes of an ancient musician, of an ancient and, and modern musicus practicus, but ancient musicus practicus in our modern days. I have defiant music in mind, a music that's not confined to institutions and academies for the chosen few, but that lives in the hearts of those who feel called by a mission. A music that is not about credit, exams and loyalty points, but is built on study, love, dedication, passion, connection. A music that doesn't insult your intelligence and your creativity. You have to do this way because it's always been done this way. But a magical world to explore, full of enchanted forests and mystical paths to draw. Maybe this music is not for everyone. No.
It's for those who aren't satisfied with the way things are today. For those who rebel against what and how we are taught in the education system. For those who want to see meanings beyond the notes. This is our music. The music of musici pratici. And you? Are you... a musicus practicus? Colors help you visualize better. Colors help you imagine better. Colors help you understand better. The same goes for the Partimento method. All the colors will help you to visualize the melodies better. All the colors will help you to imagine the many combinations of patterns. All the colors will help you understand counterpoint better. Free your creativity. Liberate your voice. Make magic with your music. Create your free account now and start your magical adventure in the Partimento method.